Hey, uh, we're going to do a tour of 10 Cook in Madison. It's a three bedroom, three and a half bath townhouse. Uh, there's the front. Um, I'm parked here on the street. Uh, Cook is an avenue that parallels uh, Main Street Route 124, which is right up there. Uh, uh, you have a little park, a little open grassy area here. And then on the far side, there's another big park. We can maybe go take a look. Basically, you walk down the street, take a right, and then you're up uh, up in town. So it's pretty uh, pretty close. So let's go inside. Uh, you know, it's a row of townhouses. I think there's seven units, uh, all facing here. All I think pretty similar. So let's go check out Ten Cook. This is uh, unit number six. <clears throat> a few steps. Here's your mailbox, a covered uh, entry, which is, uh, which is nice. Place to put packages, we like that. Okay, we walk in. Uh, we have a little uh, alcove, I'll show you the front door. Uh, there's a hall closet here. Uh, pretty standard size. Uh, you also have a powder room on this level. Basic, but it looks okay. Uh, <clears throat> there's floor plans inside that have room dimensions. Uh, so here's your view out the front. You can kind of see the street and the trees. And then basically, this is the living area. Uh, you have a large living area uh, designed to put the TV up there. Um, it looks pretty good, pretty good size. Here's a little virtual staging to give you an idea. Uh, then opens into the dining room area and kitchen. So this is all very open living, which is nice. Um, here's a big closet uh, with some built-ins, so a lot of storage. This unit does seem to have some pretty good storage based on all the closets. Here's your dining area, which is, I think, very nice. Good size, again, very open. Uh, little place for a TV or lighting, I guess. Um, and here's your kitchen area. Um, you can see the cabinetry. Um, that looks uh, you know, pretty decent. Uh, kitchen aid, refrigerator. Tops. Uh, we've got a dishwasher. Uh, there is a disposal, and then looks out over the uh, over the back. We do have a little dining little dining area here, enough for a round table. Uh, looking out the back, we can show it to you. Uh, here's the back. There's some open guest parking. nice. Sit outside, some fresh air. And here's the, uh, here's the view of the back. We'll walk around and check out the garage level when we're done inside. So as I said, this is the dining area. Here's another view of the, uh, of the floor. So let's go upstairs. Uh, upstairs there are two bedrooms and two baths. Okay, here's the master, but I can also say here in the hallway, here's the, the hall at the top of the stairs, there's bedroom number two. Uh, we do have the laundry facility, which is nice here, very convenient. Laundry sink. Not sure what this is. Oh, this is a control unit. This is the uh, looks like a instant hot water thing. That's good. A little ironing board. Uh, here's the master. Yeah, pretty decent size. Here's 
just have a little view. You can see these pictures online and what it would look like. Here's the master bath. Closet, two sinks, shower stall, jets, um, and also a uh, tub here. Master has two big closets. That's kind of nice. Here's one. It's got a window. Uh, oh, you got all built-ins. <clears throat> you have a second one here. So really, a lot of a uh, lot of storage. That's a lot of storage in the master. That's pretty good. It's definitely walk in. So I'm going to check out bedroom number two. Uh, here's another large closet for storage. Uh, these homes were designed with uh, a possible elevator, so there's three big closets on each of the different levels. <clears throat> I also see up here uh, pull down stairs. You know, we'll ask the agent if. Uh, and if you can stand up there, if there's flooring, but that could be potential good additional storage for stuff you don't want to necessarily uh, use frequently. And here's another decent closet. I don't see a linen closet right here. Uh, the master bath had a little closet. Well, either of these can be used for that. Okay, here's bedroom two. This actually is, is pretty sizable also. <clears throat> Show you it. Here's a view at the back. This is a uh, view facing the front street. Uh, there's two large double closets. And then it's also ensuite. Here's its own bath, uh, shower stall. Oh, here's a little, here's a little closet, so you could use this for the uh, for the second floor. Okay, let's get into the basement. Our entrance is off the dining area, it's the lower level. The lower level has the third bedroom, so that's one thing to note. The third bedroom is downstairs. You can use that as a swing bedroom if you got more than one person home at a time. You've got to figure out a system. Uh, here is the uh, third bath, full bath, shower stall. Uh, then here's the bedroom. Where it's on the lower level, it is uh, above grade, which is nice. So you definitely do have some windows, uh, which gives it a better feel than, than the lower levels. I can give you the uh, full view here. And like the one on the third, second floor, I've got two, uh, two, uh, two closets. Here's another large closet. You know, this is the elevator shaft closet. Uh, very sizable. Here's uh, another closet for the entry. Here's our garage entry. I think one of the nice things about this place is it does have a very large two car garage. You can see, very open. Oh, okay, so here's the HVAC and a little laundry sink and storage. 
then here's another storage closet, more storage. So that's pretty good. So you can see the uh, see the garage entrance, and you can see the back of the home. There's the balcony for the uh, kitchen at the back. So nice. And as I said, this is kind of the back. Let's see what we got over here. Shrubs, and you can see here pretty much the back of the uh, back of the community. Uh, that's it. I think I'll uh, do another quick one to give you a little sense of the drive to uh, drive to town.